legislations and projects that you have in mind for this fresh term? For my fresh term, of course, I'm going to be continuing everything that we already have. Like, we have a medical assistance program, which has worked so well for us. We take care of our people from womb to tomb, from the time they give birth until and all their medical needs, until whoever they gave birth to has finally met their maker. We take care of them. We have educational assistance. We have, we have a burial, medical. We have helped more than 140,000 constituents in the Visayas uh, Santa Soto Medical Center. But with the pandemic, there are things that we need to touch on and change, such as for education. Uh, for one, I think there's a need to strengthen the education that we have. A lot of people have come up to me and said, our teachers have the English proficiency level of a grade three student, and we need to change that. But before we can change that, we need to make it attractive to the teachers. So if we increase their salary pay grade level, which is now at 11, to 14, then it will attract more teachers. And at the same time, uh, we opened CTU in Cuba very recently. My dad was still around for the groundbreaking. We have uh, additional courses in education, aside from agriculture and all. So we have to strengthen that. It's very important. Plus. We don't know if the pandemic is here to stay or not, so we have to prepare for that. So we'd like to encourage the, the, the telcos to strengthen their internet services because online learning is just not possible in the mountain barangays. They don't even have signal. I mean, once we even cross to a certain part, my phone doesn't even work. And we're not even talking about internet yet. So how do you expect them to learn when they don't have signal? And Hopefully, uh, we can fund, look for a way so the kids can have their own tablets, tablets that are controlled so they cannot play any games, download social media. That way they can have everything in their tablets and you don't have to carry heavy books to school. I mean, when we were kids, my gosh, my back, I think I had scoliosis from carrying all those heavy books. Every single day you can barely walk. And you see those kids are so small, they're all maps up, right? So, so we, I'd like to, you know, have each kid provided a tablet as well. And um, also the bills that I'm gonna be filing on the first day, that's possible. I have 16 lined up, many of which uh, were the bills that my dad filed that I need to refile, and uh, some of my own as well. Thank you. For Congressman Rama, your legislative agenda, and uh, what would be your maybe top five or top two priorities? Yeah, uh, I ran under the platform of uh, the acronym of HEAL, Cebu City. Uh, H-E-A-L. Health, Education, Agriculture, and Livelihood. So health, I mean, I had this experience, really bad experience, even before the pandemic. Uh, I think it was a month before the pandemic, wherein a relative of mine uh, went from hospital to hospital. And uh, at that time, I was wondering why they kept on turning us down. And later I found out it was because there was a shortage of nurses. The facilities were there, but shortage of nurses. And it was a concern at that time because Again, it was a month before the pandemic, which I brought up in the city council. And as we went through the pandemic, it became, it really became a, a problem. Kay tungod, ang atong nurses, obus kayo o sulo. Even the ratio from nurses to patient, lahat na kayo, if you compare it to before. So there is a need, aside from providing the health facilities needed here in Cebu City, we really need to increase uh, the minimum wage of nurses, specifically in the private sector. Uh, when I was counselor, I filed several resolutions 
uh, giving financial assistance to DOH for DOH to supply the private uh, hospitals uh, nurses which shouldn't be so that's that's a problem that we need to address moving forward and uh, of course uh, the medical facilities like uh, a dialysis center a bigger dialysis center uh, since one out of uh, one every hour suffers from chronic uh, renal failure as a matter of fact based on my experience I live in a compound 80% of my relatives in the compound went through a dialysis treatment so I would want to push for that also and in terms of education uh, during the pandemic I believe 90% uh, of our of our kids had uh, learning poverty pasabot Dubinta uh, Prasinto 10 years below had a hard time uh, reading simple uh, sim understanding a simple story and I do agree with the uh, Congresswoman uh, QT Del Mar that we do need to increase the salary grade of our teachers if you compare the salary, uh, salary grade of our teachers to other ASEAN uh, countries, parating ubusa. So, uh, ubus yung kayo. Uh, another one is, of course, agriculture. We should uh, provide more uh, farm-to-market roads and uh, other innovative ideas for our mountain barangays since 70% sa atong yuta na rin sa Cebu is mostly uh, sa mountain barangays and of course livelihood. Daghan na wag tangag trabaho, daghan na wag tangag negosyo sa panahon sa pandemics, especially the small and medium enterprises. And uh, uh, one of uh, the legislation that uh, I want I want to push for is uh, uh, the legislation of uh, Congresswoman and a Congressman uh, Raul Del Mar who's pushed for one, uh, Mega Cebu. I would want to collaborate with the uh, Congresswoman Cutie Del Mar and coordinate with her for Mega Cebu. Since the existing uh, Metro Cebu Development Coordinating Board only has uh, uh, institutional, uh, doesn't have institutional powers, mas mayo katong Mega Cebu Development Authority. Uh, with that Mega Cebu Development Authority, at least. Uh, we can have coordination with the different LGUs uh, in terms of policy, policy direction, in terms of uh, infrastructure uh, planning, uh, uh, solid waste management uh, direction or coordination, uh, transportation coordination and intermodal uh, transportation in the different LGUs. So what is important for me is coordination. And that's one of my biggest frustrations when I was in the city council because there was lack of coordination with the national agencies and the local government unit, even in the barangay, which in return, a waste of funds. It was a waste of funds. It was very glaring in my case because uh, there were a lot of projects in my own barangay which I do believe was not needed. And this involves hundreds of millions of pesos. And until now, until now, still is a problem. That's why uh, when I start my term, I want to have a more proactive uh, approach in terms of infrastructure projects wherein I would be uh, sitting down on a regular basis with our DPW and the DPWH and other uh, national agencies to be more efficient in uh, government spending.